Yo, what is good, YouTube? And I hope you've been enjoying the videos over the past few days. But today, we're going to ask a very specific question. Should you drop $50 on Invincible Victor Wimbanyama? And how does the next version compare with the Invincible Victor Wimbanyama? So those two questions are going to be the focus of this video. It's not going to be a tutorial. What you're seeing in the screen right now are highlights of Invincible Victor Wimbanyama running rampant on the unlimited streets. And I've got to tell you, he's some of the most, it, it's some of the most fun I've had with when using any player in NBA 2K23. It's unfair the way he moves, his length, his shot making, his animation package. They made sure that the introduction of Wimbanyama into the game was as game breaking as guys like Ronnie 2K said he would be. Okay, so let's start with the comparisons first with the next Victor Wimbanyama base version and as you can see here the animations are different the size of escape package is Kobe ball handling rating I think below 80 as well no killer combos and as you can see here as a result there's a hitch in the way he connects combos together and it's not giving you the same level of fluidity that you saw in the intro highlights so the animations are different. He doesn't have the Tim Thomas size up. He also has the Kobe size up escape, which is fine, but it's not the Trey Young escape, as I understand a lot of people like it. The shot is much slower as well, and things don't combo well together just in general. But this is still Victor Wimbanyama, a seven foot five shot creating freak. You can still move around with him. His length just adds that extra bit of distance to his animations, which are unfair. And he can still shot create at a decent level. Just don't expect that quick um, change of direction, change of pace movement that you would expect from the Invincible version. As you can see here, he can still combo up really well. That Demar size up is underrated. And if you combine it instead of using the momentum combo with the James Harden moving crossover as a launch, you'll have a lot of success with him creating in the perimeter. Okay, next, let's compare that Victor Wembanyama with the Invincible version. And, and trust me, as soon as you get your hands on him in 2KU, it's just a next level of cracked out speed and animations that just separates him from the next version. Take a look at this right here. We use the same combo and just the difference in speeds by the time Victor Wembanyama, the Invincible version, to the right, finishes his combo next the next version hasn't even started his shot gather yet that difference in speed is just insane not to mention the change in animations to the trey young escape and the steve francis size up and as you can see the ball handling rating going up to 99 acceleration up to 99 speed up to 99 allows you to launch into those you know left stick crossovers like the tween left stick crossover launch which I understand a lot of people like to use to initiate a quick change of direction. You can see right here, you can immediately combo that out of your different escape dribbles, your different size up combos, your pullback dribbles. And he just moves at a quick level that if this is the play style that you're looking for, well, the easy answer is he does move differently. It's having one of those demigod park builds right there in, in my team. And if a guy knows what he's doing, he's basically unguardable. Now, if you're a new player, there's no easier way to, to get buckets than, than having this invincible version. The only challenge is, is, is he worth 50 bucks? In my opinion, with two months left before the next game, he's not really. Maybe if you got him on PS Plus and you want to spend on the game, sure. Just take a look at the craziness that his animation package adds to you know, his different level of shot making. But my recommendation is to just get the next version he's a buyout and if you add handles for days quick first step clamp breaker killer combos and whatever playmaking badge you can add you'll get somewhere close to 60 65 to 70 percent of victor Wembanyama, and that's not bad uh this guy is supposedly the best card in my team history um then you want to increase his uh just add whatever hall of fame badge you can get I, that, that would be my recommendation don't spend 50 bucks the only reason i spent 50 bucks is that you know i i make i make money off of creating 2k content and i wanted to experience what it was like to have something as game breaking and let me tell you it's fun 
um, if I did have the means to replace that money with with revenue i wouldn't have bought that version but it has made my job easier in unlimited but i've been winning games uh recently as well because there are so many good cards out there i wouldn't recommend spending 50 bucks but that's just me that's a decision you will have to make after you add all of these different types of badges the next thing you want to do is to add a shoe to wemby um just add whatever you want i recommend adding all of the speed and quickness um shoe boosts and then i think i added plus four to ball handling you also want to add a coach that um that uh, increases the speed so do some of those um all all-time nba challenges with the pace and space and seven seconds or less coaches that will really help um in, in terms of maxing out what your victor Wembanyama can do so that's what i did i added any every badge that i have uh in my war chest um and added that to victor Wembanyama. i i boosted up and um i made I, I boosted up his attributes to the build that i like and if you do that just take a look at how much of an improvement this is to victor Wembanyama once you use him in 2ku and all right taking a look at victor Wembanyama badged up as you can see here the difference between this version and the base version is different we're able to combo freely now now it's not as fast as the invincible version but if you're going to use him at power forward or even center there won't be a center that can keep up with him laterally that seven foot height you know uh, the speed is decent enough with a coach and a shoe boost as you can see here i'm comboing really well the length just adds to the cracked out nature of those animations you're able to launch in different directions you won't be able to do the left stick crossover quick launch but you know that's something that uh, a big advantage for the invincible version so hope you enjoyed this breakdown my advice get the base uh, get the next version if you can get one that's badged out go for that don't spend the 50 bucks especially this late into the cycle but if you really like the my team as a mode i think my team hasn't been as rewarding uh as it is now so if you get your enjoyment out of playing my team and you want to experience probably one of the legendary cards all time in the game mode that's not for me to tell you man um i spent 50 bucks so it would be hypocritical for me to say uh don't do it but again it all boils down to you um, I'm glad that I got to compare both versions to help you make an informed decision. Uh, so using Invincible Victor Wembanyama is fun. Uh, it's not my play style to just force feed a certain guy over and over. So I struggle from that perspective. But I'm learning, uh, oddly enough, I'm learning how to play with a guy using a play style that I'm not necessarily familiar with. Gives you an appreciation of the mechanics of 2K and gives you an appreciation for for what you can do and and hopefully uh the base roster version of victor Wembanyama in 2k24 isn't as cracked out because this dude is ridiculous